I knew that film was calling to me, and it had been since I was a little kid, and I used to put on productions of Star Wars in my backyard. <laughs> I knew that this is what I wanted to do, but I didn't want to wait for other people to give me work as an actor. So I went to film school, I graduated from the New York Film Academy, and I wanted to be a filmmaker. When I came back to Canada from New York, I worked in Toronto, and I went from being a production assistant in Toronto to coming home to visit Winnipeg and being swept away by the film industry here. I've done all kinds of jobs in the film industry, casting, craft services, gaffing, pretty much every job you could do, I've done it. And that's made me, I think, a better filmmaker. Reds Arena Entertainment started a couple of years ago when a few of us female filmmakers got together and said, we don't want to wait to have our stuff produced anymore. And we had all collaborated with each other in various ways. And we knew that we had one thing in common. When we say we were going to do something, we got it done. I had never thought about applying to on-screen Manitoba for funding until we got our world premiere for our feature film H&G at the Vancouver International Film Festival. And my partner said, apply to On Screen Manitoba for funding to get you there. It was a tremendous experience being able to go to the festival, to go to our world premiere for our first feature film. I had written a script called Jane Garbage, and my partner Danishka said, you need to do another feature. I said, I think I've got one, and I pitched it to them, and they said, write that movie. And so I did. Jane Garbage is an idea that I had 20 years ago. I was thinking about a high school movie about this kid who just had no friends. It was something that really connected to a lot of people, about the most painful experiences of high school, and being alone, and making mistakes, and fighting your way through it to be the person you want to be. Danishka said, you need to direct Jane Garbage and you need to apply for the Women in the Director's Chair program. It's this prestigious program that brings female filmmakers from across the country together to be mentored by the top people in the industry. And it's been great to be able to bring those experiences back to the community and to grow our company in a way that supports other filmmakers and other artists. One thing I love about my job is that it's never the same and every day I'm meeting new people and every day is terrifying and exhilarating. I recently had the opportunity to act in the TV series The Pinkertons and it was a tremendous experience. It was a juicy part. It was a great director, a local director named Doug Mitchell. It was an incredible experience. The thing about Winnipeg is it's a small town and once you meet somebody then they tend to introduce you to all the other people and that's a good thing to know for people who are interested in working in this industry. It's really like a family here. I've had the opportunity to mentor a couple of young filmmakers and I learned so much from them and from their energy and their new vision and how they see the world and so I love working with new artists as well. It's not easy to work in the film industry, and one of the things that you can do for yourself is you can reach out to the organizations that are here in Manitoba to help you, like Film Training Manitoba, On Screen Manitoba, the Winnipeg Film Group. There are so many people and so many organizations who are willing to help you if you really want to be a part of our industry here.